it was the 13th hear me it was the 13th of august uh, 2024 uh nearly around um 3 15 a.m. in the morning 13th of august this month 2024 nearly around 3 15 a.m. i want to understand that in the dimensions of time in the dimensions of time and in the realms of the spirit i have seen i have heard and I have behold what is going to befall ghana in their forthcoming 7th December general election. So in the realms of the spirit, uh, I, I saw this in the realms of the spirit. And this is what I saw, precious saints. And I want you, precious people, to understand what is going to befall the nation of Ghana this year in the upcoming general election. I saw uh, Mr. Mahama I saw Mr. Mahama and I saw uh, Dr. Buamuya. I saw Mr. Mahama and I saw Dr. Buamuya. Abu Sunya for me tiyeche o bibiara. Akwalanya me. Ena mwensa kani se siya ya yi. Mala ma akwalanya mina wuti ni dino. Mina mwensa kami se siya ano. Mina mida pangsoba spiritual and herbal center ano. Ya rie biya e unkono. Anase wwe chinya 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 abre. Bibi ti se apatitis. Bibi ti se stroke. Stroke diye. E boni pa kura tuto fomu na wenti men kasa kura na masha wu 3 days. Masu ya ye uba menjisika. Tiye miye. Masu ya ye uba menjisika. Na meno uba kwa apam. Unhu towa. Ase debi wakwa na wadi aba. Be ma diye. Adiye be cheno. E se se wa yinu. Sorry jina honu mu street. E me se ubi ati maase. Na sa adiye na ansore an jine street diya. Na ye problem. E nu anise uwa US o uwa UK. Uba biya uwa biya no. Uba fame nomba. E nu ne guwa siya. Nuna wadi afreme. Anase uba ba masu ya ye. Wutu kwa yi. Sa uwa kwa kwa pebi bidi ya ba fiye. Uwa kwa ya krata sema. Juma sema. Chire sa uwa uda kura na uwa sunsum da ye. Basa basa basa. E nu anise uwa fa pang soba nomba no. Na uwa afreme. Uwa afreme insu awa nsabe kame. Me kansi subi yo. Uwa masu ya ya. Me nji sika. E nu anise mene uwa kwa pam. Uwa kwa wa na uwa di asida edi ya ba. A uwa sem. A uwa sem. Uwa ube timanya sika wa ubotom. Ne uwa mwa uwa nti no. Wa mba te ite wo sa ama wun wunu ba biya wo besi. Wo de de ebe yane se freme. Ana se bre ma asu ye ye. Ne ye ntira wo se. Ye de ahahay. Ene esa yari ya wa hanumo. Ye bre ya 2024. Ah ye election ye yi. Ena me shaya si ye enya akos. E bi mousu diya kwe test message. E bi mousu diya kwe ye whatsapp message. E bi mkura ye whatsapp audio na na edi bisa mi se. Di jia 2024 ye wude mwi. A batuwa ye babe tuno gana no. E be kwe se ini. Me kasi me enya kwa oswa na me buwa. Kwaos di bibribi. Messages bibribi. Ene ba me ho. E bisa mi se. 2024 election no. E kwa se. Because abre no. En pipa mwen yuko no. Ako tuwa aba. E yo mfran katuni, e ye Dr. Mahamad Baumia. En di si nso, ako tuwa ba, e yo mfran katuni, e ye, yo rak John Domaini Mahama. Alan, che maten so, e nyaten hon, ako ten movement for change. Che se, pati, inka yini nina, ato tuwa ba, e di akwe yo mfrak beres. Inti e kwa sen, e na msi mwenye abotre, na nyankupo nyanime nka saye. E muho, e na wankon kumbe fa, me di mi uro sun sumu. Inti sun sumu no, na ni e mi huno sun sumu diye, Ese weni, ense se ye kachire wo. Wei, e ye Prophet Joe Kennedy. Prophet Joe Kennedy. Ono, e na wase, ni nyanko pombe fa ni uwe sunsumu, ni nyanko pombe fa ni uwe sunsumu no. Ni uhun ye, e wo sunsumu ya se no. E no, e no, obabe dan e di, e di achire gana fwo yi na. Inti mo miyo ko, ni yonko ti ye Joe Kennedy, the apostolic. Joe Kennedy, the apostolic. Ah, e yo bin for radio. Mo miyo ko ti ye no mra. Shalom, precious saints. I greet you all in the mighty, most glorious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Precious saints, I've always opined on this channel that Yahweh speaks not because he has a mouth, but Yahweh speaks because he has an agenda, he has a purpose. 
and it is that purpose that he intends to fulfill in the earth expressively uh, through the principle of his uttered word. Precious saints, so many of you have reached out to me in hundreds uh, from the nation of Ghana and you are inquiring concerning um, the 7th December Ghanaian general election. And you want to know what is the counsel of Elohim, what is the counsel of God concerning the upcoming general election. I've received so much of your calls and WhatsApp messages from all over the place, people inquiring, saying, voice of thunders. You have always been giving uh, prophecies. What is the Lord saying? Now, I have, <clears throat> I have gathered sanctified intelligence from the realms of the Holy Spirit. And uh, this is what the Lord has to say. It was the 13th, hear me, it was the 13th of August. Uh, 2024, uh, nearly around um, 3.15 a.m. in the morning, 13th of August this month, 2024, nearly around 3.15 a.m. I want to understand that in the dimensions of time, in the dimensions of time, and in the realms of the spirit, I have seen, I have heard, and I have behold what is going to befall Ghana in their forthcoming 7th December general election. And this is what I saw in the realms, in the dimensions of time, in the realms of the spirit. I want to understand this is already a programmed, it's already determined. What I'm about to share with you is already determined in the realms of the spirit. It is going to happen exactly according to my word by the spirit. It's already determined in the dimensions of time in the realms of the spirit. In the realms of the spirit, there is a dimension called the dimensions of time in the realms of the spirit that is given to men according to to the chronological order of events that have already been determined by the counsel of the Elohim. So in the realms of the spirit, uh, I, I saw this in the realms of the spirit. And this is what I saw, precious saints, and I want you, precious people, to understand what is going to befall the nation of Ghana this year in the upcoming general election. I saw... Uh, Mr. Mahama. I saw Mr. Mahama and I saw uh, Dr. Buamuya. I saw Mr. Mahama and I saw Dr. Buamuya. These two presidential contestants, I saw them kneeling before uh, an enlightened throne. They were kneeling before an enlightened throne. They were kneeling before an enlightened throne and there was this uh, being there was this being that stood before the throne okay so there is this being that stood before the throne and on his right hand he held a, a, a he held a sword he held a long sword of light it was a very radiant sword of light a radiant sword of light. It was dazzling and dazzling, a very sharp, piercing light. Does it was like the light was flaming light. He was holding a sword that is actually dazzling and radiating, vibrating a very sharp, piercing light. And the light to me was like it was a flaming light. Flaming, it was flaming the color of light, not the color of fire, but the color of light, appearing more like whitish flame, like whitish flame, very radiant. Okay, and they were. I saw uh, Mr. Mahama, 
and I saw Dr. Wamuya. They were kneeling, both of them were kneeling. And this being, this uh, human kind of being that stood there, uh, I saw it clearly. Uh, he held the sword at, on his right hand and he stretched it towards Mr. Mahama's right shoulder. Here, he stretched it towards Mr. Mahama's right shoulder. And when the sword touched Mr. Mahama's shoulder, the sword turned more brighter. It turned more brighter. It, it increased in the degree and in the volume of radiance. It became more lighter. It, it grew so radiant, majestically radiant. He placed it on him. Then he turned the sword on his left shoulder and the same happened again. The sword, this sword that was flaming light, whitish in color, radiated again, brighter, glowed brighter. And then he, he, he left the side where Mr. Mahama was and he shifted towards the side where Dr. Bamuya was kneeling. And when he stretched the sword on Dr. Bamuya's shoulder, the sword went dim. The sword went dim. It was not glowing. The radiation of the light emanating from the sword went dim. The radiation that was emanating from the sword went dim. It's like light had the light from the sword, the flaming light from the sword went dim. And then he turned it on the left shoulder of Dr. Bomia. Again, it went dim. That is what I saw in the realms. Shalom.